All right, hello everybody. This is Spin Rush C1. Welcome to my channel again. As you know that I'm really big into cars and I'm also really big into drones. It's something that I'm trying to incorporate into the videos that I make. And I've been at it now for just about half a year. Today, uh, I'm here at a special event. This is basically the DJI Mavic Mini uh, launch debut seminar. So we're gonna learn a little bit more about the drone up close and personal. But the place that I'm at today is really, really unique. This is the DJI Arena Tokyo. And this place is very cool. Uh, this is my first time here today. Uh, I can see the staff here from DJI. They're really kind of me. Mina konnichiwa. Okay. And this was really, really cool. They just have an amazing lineup of drones and the course here is absolutely fabulous. I'm gonna take you for a little bit of a tour here. Uh, we can see some of the items that they have here on display, of course. Uh, this is the new J Drone uh, Mavic Mini right here in front of me. And of course it has the full cage for propeller guards. And wow, it just looks really, really good. Uh, everybody's excited about this drone here. Of course, uh, right behind me, uh, behind that, excuse me, uh, I have the DJI Spark. And wow, they always come in so many different colors. Everyone's been comparing the two. And what else we got? Of course, we have the Mavic Air which is my personal favorite. I've been using the Mavic Air for a long time now, but they've also got an assortment of other different items that I have not seen before. Of course, this is my first time to see the RoboMaster SI up close and personal. Uh, this is something that I might get into. Uh, we're gonna see about it. Of course, you can see the higher end drones over here. Of course, you got the Mavic 2 Pros. And of course the Mavic 2 Zoom. Now the Zoom is the one that has the camera where you can actually zoom in on your subjects. And then go, we're just moving over here to some classics. Uh, the Phantom 4 Pro. Okay, this is really, really popular with professionals. And then this thing over here, the Inspire 2, this thing is a beast. I'm gonna go around this 360 degrees. It is absolutely amazing. Okay. That thing is huge and believe me it costs some money to purchase one. Okay, You got to really be into drones if you're going to go this big. Uh, once again, take a look at the course that they have laid out here. Okay, uh, This is definitely the kind of course if you're a new drone pilot you definitely want to practice on. Uh, going from position to position and inside out and of course one of the biggest problems that drone pilots have is orientation. So with the camera facing away from you, I mean, yeah, it's pretty easy to fly, but as soon as you turn that camera towards you, you've got to reverse orientation, and that takes practice. And wow, look at this course that they have set up. Apparently, this is all the stuff set up here for rentals. Looks really good. And there's a hell of an echo in here, but it's really, really nice to be here at this particular course today. Of course, we have one gentleman here. Uh, Taking some time to do a little bit of practice. Okay. What's really important is for a drone pilot to be able to practice flying not in the GPS mode. The GPS mode keeps your drone safe when you are outside, okay? But a real drone pilot is able to fly his drone in ATTI or visual mode uh, without GPS signals and basically that just makes the drone just kind of fly around on its own it's basically without brakes okay a GPS mode once you release the joystick handle the drone will pretty much stop and hover wherever it is but when you're in ATTI mode basically you are in full control of the drone and yeah Notice here what he's done is he's reversed orientation towards himself so the camera's pointing towards him. So basically he has to know exactly, you know, to go to move the stick in the opposite direction so he doesn't lose control. Now that really only applies when you're going, for example, strafing left or strafing right. Uh, you can always just turn, you know, the camera towards the direction where you want to go and then just push forward. But again, what he's doing is really good practice here today. 